What's going on everybody this is obb the diecast news guy and uh yes i'm in a different camera angle because i just realized my front camera is kind of shit when it comes to uh really dark lighting so uh it's probably the best quality i got right here so i'm using the rear camera so i do apologize i'm literally uh looking at my rear view mirror as a mirror image to see what i'm seeing that i'm providing you guys anyways guys uh this is a new episode of what's in stores what's going on and uh yeah guys um we're here outside of a Walmart. I like to, in the one in East Syracuse, New York. Uh, the one that's really close to me. I mean, as you guys know, I do reside in East Syracuse. I don't expect any visitors, though. Not going to get out my address. <laughs> Unless you guys want to send me some cool shit. But, yeah. Um, I do got a video about that coming up soon. Um, but stay tuned for Lance. Um, but, yeah, lots of interesting content coming, guys. Uh, we got this and the haul video uh, from Jax. And, um... Return to diecast news and of course the diecast reviews. So uh yeah, thank you guys for tuning in for what stores 31. This is a live premiere. And you guys know wave seven, uh aka possibly, I don't know if it's the final wave of NASCAR Authentics 2020, but it's the last wave released for this year. From what I know, we'll probably have wave eight released in 2021, if not maybe the first wave. There's a plow right behind me. Hello, plow. It's not snowing out, but I love Central New York. Uh, shout out to the plow driver who's lead about a guy out of his car. Uh, you're on YouTube, buddy. <laughs> but um, as you guys know, uh, Wave 7, I wasn't really too psyched about considering we had some really late releases. But I'm looking forward to getting some of the exclusive cars that we got, like the watermelon truck of Ross Chastain and that 42 Nice Motorsports truck. Along with the Clint Boyer, uh, uh, the Clint Boyer uh, Ford car that he drove at, what, like Bristol or Richmond, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, Probably also gonna pick up the Trex's car, but anyway, it's enough for me jibbing, jabbing, and talking. Uh, let's see what this crazy son of a bitch is gonna go outside with his uh, Bill's gear on, and uh, let's get ready for a new episode of What's in Stores number 31. And see you guys inside of Walmart.
Alrighty guys, so once again, we struck gold here in Walmart and I managed to find majority of the wave, uh, except for probably, I don't know, one in particular I was looking for. And that was, uh, as you guys saw in the video, I found all the cars in wave seven, except for, of course, both Mac Kenseth's McDonald's uh, McDelivery cars, including the liquid color. Um, heck, I still only have one liquid color from this year, but uh, with the help of some good buds, I was able to find some more, but um, yeah, just, uh, damn man, it's just uh, pretty unfortunate that, that happening, but you know what, man? Uh, Hey, at least I'm not a scalper. I mean, yeah, and a little PSA announcement for all those scalpers out there. You know, probably said this many times, but you know, you guys are disgusting human beings. So, anyways, um, yeah, I couldn't find that car, the Lake Coke version of that. Uh, Chase Elliott's Mountain Dew, Little Caesars car. Didn't think that car was going to sell that well, but it is since he is a 2020 champ, and that is actually possibly going to be one of the last Mountain Dew cars produced for this year. Probably for NASCAR Authentics, but we do get two more coming down the road because um, you guys know Mountain Dew is slash Pepsi is no longer a uh, sponsor in NASCAR, especially for the former Cup Series champion, which sucks. Um, I know Carnation is pretty pissed off about Lance, um, but yeah. And what was another car I missed out uh, on um, as I'm literally looking at the packaging you know, what are the cars I missed out. Oh yeah, the Ryan Blaney Dexter Machine car. Um, I forgot to mention that. Uh, I couldn't find that as well. That was an exclusive. But um, all the other ones I was able to find out. And let's go ahead and show you guys what I got. I only got three uh, for this video. Um, so not really much. Might be a short video. But whatever though, you guys seem to enjoy you know this series quite well i mean 31 my lord but go ahead and show this one out the back because i already reviewed it but you guys know me i'm a big march rex jr fan it says march rex jr uh bass pro shops patriotic aka known as the eagle car only had to get this because it's got to go on the true x wall and once you guys see my haul video which you know i am splitting up into parts you guys are gonna understand why i collect all the true x cars even though i already have you know even though I already have the Gold Series variant. But, you know, when you have your favorite driver on the line, you got to get every single car, no matter what. But a really cool-looking paint scheme. Um, you guys haven't get this, get it while you can. Because um, definitely is going to be a hot seller for this year. Especially with that eagle on it. I mean, who doesn't love good old eagles? All right, next up, we got his teammate, Kyle Busch's Snickers white car. You guys know me, I'm a big fan of Snickers. Especially, I shoved uh, right around this time last year, or you know, two years ago, I uh, when I made that notorious uh, Wave 12 2018 rant review, uh, Snickers was the only thing that made me happy during that. So yeah, hashtag not a fan ass. <laughs> but Snickers white chocolate, um, definitely it's gonna be an interesting scheme to review. Even though um, surprise, this is not gonna be a rant review because this paint scheme is quite literally all over the place. And uh, yeah, it's being all over the place. Look at that exposure, man. Holy lordy. At least an eight ninety nine cent uh, lightning. Uh, it's at least an eight ninety nine cents for. Uh, but at least I'm not paying ninety nine cents for my light bulbs <laughs> for lightning. Um, racing twenty eleven. He's gonna kick my ass for saying that. But that uh, guy, I, 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 hey, you know, there, there are some moments in your life, you know, when you gotta be cheap. When it comes to lighting, I'm sorry, you can't be cheap on that shit because you know you gotta see what you're seeing. You know what I mean? So a little PSA announcement so you don't pull a rob. And the final car we're we'll talking about. Not be fan of this manufacturer, but. Uh, do you like this paint scheme? I didn't realize this paint scheme actually has a background to it, so the review on this could be interesting. This is the uh, Clint Boyer 2020 Ford uh, built Ford Proud car. Uh, that's quite the understatement. Um, I'm sure all the Ford uh, fans are like, well, you're just a hater. Well, I mean, I tolerated Ford when yeah, I was a Carl Lovers fan, so <laughs> tolerated. Um, yeah, really nice looking car, guys. I really like the slot. This is, you know, uh, the the one of two exclusives that we got in the wave, along with the Ryan Blaney Dex Imaging. So a lot of Ford exclusive in this wave, but more importantly, um, you know, a Ford car on a Ford Mustang driven by um, the one's new newest announcers for the Fox booth next year. Um, that's gonna be interesting, man. But yeah, um, Clint Boyer, uh, built Ford proud car. That is going to be interesting to review. But yeah, that is going to wrap up this newest episode of What's in Stores. And uh, yeah, just can't thank you guys enough for your continued support. Thank you guys for 4K subs. Almost at 4,100 now, which is insane. Um, a lot of big stuff coming up in this uh, channel very soon uh, for the start of next year and many more stuff. So uh, can't really say too much, but stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for staying patient and hope you guys had a great, great Christmas. And cheers to uh, hopefully a better 2021 because I don't know about you, but I'm ready to go to some motherfucking races. And the plow is taking off, revving his engine. So thank you again, plow driver, for interrupting my video once again. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to go and probably rant to that guy in my uh, <laughs> in my next review. Uh, this has been OBB, the Diecast News Guy. Catch you guys next time and next year for some more NASCAR Diecast content on this channel. Peace out, guys.